Okay, hey buddies. I feel like it's been forever <laughs> since we went live together. Um, it kind of has been. It's the longest break I've ever taken actually because my kids weren't well and then I lost my voice from that. And anyways, I'm super glad that we're back. <laughs> um, hi, I'm Shana Kamen. I'm a strategic nutritionist. Um, I'm the curator of this group, Super Simple Nutrition Hacks. And um, I teach my clients essentially how to use really simple and really delicious foods um, as extremely effective medicine so that you can be in like super duper thriving health. Um, heal your hormones, heal your digestion, get your energy back, get your mojo back. <laughs> um, so um, today we're making a really, really delicious side dish that people always think is like, oh, it must be so difficult, it must take so much time. Um, must be so hard, but of course that is not the case because I don't do anything that's hard and takes a lot of time in the kitchen because I don't have the patience for it. Um, so what we're making is these really incredible smoky jalapenos, um, and then we serve them over these like really incredible lemony onions. And so we're going to make that right now. Um, so let me just flip the camera around so you can see just what we're working with here. Hold on. Oh, you know, I forgot something actually. Hold on. Okay. Oop. Okay. Here we go. So on my cutting board, I have my jalapenos. Honestly, I'm not sure if this one is a jalapeno or not, um, but I just like the contrast of color when I serve it and they all taste good. That's my super awesome olive oil that I love. This is my little lemony juice thing that I'm gonna squeeze it with. And that's my onion that, I mean, normally, honestly, I would probably do a whole onion, maybe even more than one, but I didn't realize I was running low. Anyways, okay, so first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop up the camera right here, actually. Um, if I put you right there, can you guys see? I think you can. I think you can see pretty well. Okay. So, hey, whoever you are, come say hi. Is that better if I put you from there? It's a little better angle so you can see better, right? Okay. So this is the first thing that you got to do. Now, if you don't do this, they will just be insanely, insanely spicy and they won't ever get that nice, like charred look that you're looking for. Is you see, and you have your knife. You're just gonna like stick it through and give it like a little inch cut right there. Can you see what I did? That's just like a little cut. And then on the other side too, boom, that's it. That's the whole thing. That's the magic or it's part of the magic, okay? If you wanna be lazy, you can just go like that and do both sides at the same time and then you're done. Um, which of course, I always advocate for that. I always advocate for the easy way out, okay? Um, like that, boom, I did them all. That part's done. Now, um, yeah. there we go, I'm gonna flip the camera around. There's my pan. I recommend using stainless steel if you have it. Um, and I put the fire on, I'm putting it on high right now just so it heats up. Say hi, whoever you are. Um, there's the oil. I like to be generous with the oil because the oil absorbs a ton of the really yummy flavor. Okay, then we just put our jalapenos in like that. Boom, we just lay them next to each other. And that's it. Put them in there. And then, and of course I'm doing the red one because it just makes it look so much nicer. Right, that red one makes it so pretty. Okay, so there we go. Those are in there now. And now I'm going to leave it on high for now. Um, and then I'm just going to chop up the onion while they're cooking. Now, I'm going to cook them on high for now because um, I want them to go faster. <laughs> and I, I like them spicy. But, um, but if you are a person that like cannot handle or doesn't, just doesn't like really, really spicy flavors, um, if you cook it on a medium low flame or even a low flame for a long time, like you would just, instead of having it on high right now, if you would flip it down to like three and leave them in there, honestly, for like 30 minutes, um, and you could flip them every 10 minutes or so, um, then that would be super doable for you. Okay, hold on. So now they would, sorry, I got distracted. Um, so if you do that, um, what happens is it just becomes very, very mild. Honestly, one time I like did it like that for so long that they were totally mild. There was like no kick to them whatsoever. They still had, still had a really amazing flavor, but there was like zero kick. 
Um, like even my kids could eat it. Um, versus normally I like it to have like a nice kick to it, but to be, um, you know, not burn my face off at the same time. Okay, so while those are starting to sizzle, I'm just gonna chop up these onions. Um, I'll show you how I like to do it. Um, and this recipe was inspired by my friend, Dahlia, who just got engaged actually, so that's exciting. Okay, so now, what am I doing? I feel like I'm a little bit of a disaster here. Okay, let me move my lemon. And I'm just chopping up the onion into like, I don't know, like this size, oh, sorry. Like this size and, let's see, the best size I think is like this, when they're like a little square. Um, and so <laughs> I'm totally butchering this onion chopping. That's okay. Um, this is not the most important part. And so basically just keep cutting until you get them all. You hear they're starting to sizzle? Let's see. Okay. Hold on. And so you cut up the onions. You want to see them? See how they're doing? I'm going to turn the flame down a little. I'll show you how they're doing. Okay, see they're starting to bubble a little bit? You can't, we don't see any difference yet. There's a little bit blistered over there now. But we're just going to leave them longer. There's my onions on. And, um, when I cook it, I like them to cook for about like 10, 15 minutes. We won't do it that long today. Or maybe I'll let him cook and I'll just show you guys the finished product. You don't have to like hang out and watch for 15 minutes. Um, and okay, so here's our onions. Now, okay, the trick with the onions is that you have them relatively small. And now we're gonna put them on, hmm, you know what? I'm actually gonna get a bigger plate. This one's too small, I want a bigger one. A nice big one like this and you see how like you need one that has a little bit of a bowl happening because we're gonna add all the liquid we want it to like kind of um, raise up a little bit you know what I'm saying so here we go so I'm putting the onions that I chopped up on the plate okay Boom. There. And you'll see why at the end why I try to be generous with the oil in the pan because it makes just this part of it so amazing. <laughs> okay, so now I have my onions here. You see the plate? Is the lighting too weird? I feel like you can't really. Now you can. Oh, I don't know if I put you guys here so you can see better. It's more to do with where I'm standing, isn't it? <laughs> if I lean over. Um, whatever. Okay, you can see the onions are on a plate. It's not a complicated thing. You hear them sizzling away? Okay, now I have my lemon. Um, oops, my phone's sending me reminders that I have a client coming in 15 minutes. <laughs> That's okay, we'll be done by then. Okay, so here's my lemon. Um, I really like using these little juicer things. They just make it so much easier than if you're just like squeezing it by hand. Plus it like helps you catch the seeds, which I definitely recommend because the seeds are bitter and not tasty. Okay, so we squeeze out the juice and now we're pouring the lemon juice on top of the onions. That lemon was not very juicy. I'm going to get another one. I just picked up what I thought was a huge lemon, but it was really a, like a pretty yellow apple. That was surprising. Okay, here we go. Let me, you know, the jalapenos sound like they need to be flipped. So let me show you them. And we'll flip them. I'm just to have a fork to do it. Or a spoon, whatever, it doesn't matter. Okay, let's see. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So that's that side. So, flipping it, flipping it, ah! Boom. 
So now they're all still cooking. And again, this would take longer and be less spitty if you had it on a lower flame. Now it's like a little bit of, um, what's it called? I'm going to turn it lower now because I feel like I don't want it to smoke. Oops, sorry. Okay, there you go. <laughs> okay, now back to our eyes. So, um, okay, so I'm cutting my big lemon in half, my big juicy lemon right here. And we're going to juice it again. And I know this is plastic generally. I don't like to do... You missed the Elena Lieberman. Hey, I missed the beginning. What kind of oil are you using? I am using extra virgin olive oil. Um, and the only thing with olive oil, you can cook with it. A lot of people get confused about that. Um, you just want to make sure that it doesn't smoke. With any oil, you just want to make sure it doesn't smoke. I like that the, it gives it a little bit of extra flavor by having it be the olive oil. If you don't want to use olive oil, um, you could use like avocado oil also, that would work really well. I wouldn't really use anything else though, that would be kind of weird. Um, anyways, okay, so now I'm using the lemon. So okay, here's the lemon. And I'm now pouring, oh, okay, that's a lot of juice. This part is so good. Whenever we finish eating these, I'm always like, oh gosh, the juice at the bottom of the plate is the best part. If you're a garlic lover, you could also chop in garlic and add it in there. I actually just bought some pre-filled jar garlic, so I'll just do it. Hold on. Let me grab the garlic. And yeah, I really recommend the pre-peeled garlic because it makes your life so much easier. Like, why do you need to sit there peeling garlic? You don't. Okay. <laughs> the um, the pre-peeled, sometimes you gotta check it. Sometimes it has like a little funky end to it, but I just bought these today, so they're, they should be good. They're good. Okay, so I'm just gonna slice up the garlic real fast. Boom, boom. If you have one of those like amazing garlic crushers, go ahead and use it. Honestly, I find they're more durable than they're worth because I feel like they're so hard to clean that like I just never wind up getting mine out and using it. I feel like this is easier. I don't know. I think I also kind of like the taste better, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's really because of the taste or because of I feel lazy. Um, <laughs> but okay, I'm going to add this in and then I'm going to talk to you guys. This is actually a super healthy dish in addition to being super yummy. Okay, here we go. So now I'm just adding it to our lemony onions in there now. And by letting it sit in there, um, in the lemon juice, the lemon juice, you ever had like ceviche, you know what ceviche is, unless I'm pronouncing it wrong. Um, it's that like raw fish in lemon juice that like essentially the acid in the lemon cooks the fish. Like it doesn't look raw. It doesn't look like, um, what's it called? Um, it doesn't look like, oops, the lighting is all weird again. Um, sushi. <laughs> it looks just like regular fish and that's because of the acid. So the same thing that I like to, what, obviously that tastes amazing, but I also really like to put the lemon on the onions and the garlic because it, it tames it. You know what I'm saying? Like you ever have a salad out somewhere and you take a bite and there's onion and all you taste is onion and you're just like, ah, oh, big bite of onion. Um, but sometimes you have a salad and the onion is just like nice. So either they cut it nice and thin, but also if you soak it, and I'll often soak it in lemon juice when I do that, um, it takes like the cut out of it. So it tastes, so it's then like just has like a kick, but it doesn't have like a, oh my gosh, my face is falling apart. Um, so that's great. Also, this dish is like very, very good for cleansing in the sense of if you've been having like a lot of phlegm or you have a cold and you're trying to like, really kick up your immune system um you know the vitamin c and the lemon there's a ton of vitamin c in garlic and onions they're both really effective and natural um antibiotics <laughs> and so that's really helpful hold on and i'm sure you've probably experienced like when you eat something spicy like it it makes you drain so sometimes oh sorry like, i'm not i should show you okay hold on Netta, hi Netta. these are too spicy for you <laughs> although if you cook them slowly then, then they won't be too spicy. The trick is to cook it slow. If you cook it fast on a high heat, then they stay really spicy. But if you cook it slow on a low heat, then they don't. 
But really, if you cook them on a low heat, they won't be too spicy. Okay, look, these are almost done. How exciting. Okay, now I'm just going to put it on a really low heat and let them finish while I explain why they're so good. But see, don't they look pretty in there? Oh, and there's our onions that are going to go on top. Okay, so I know, so beautiful. Um, so yeah, so you know like when you eat hot, spicy stuff that often it'll like, all of a sudden you like have like a lot of snot and like a lot of phlegm that you need to spit. So it's not creating the phlegm, it's draining it. So one of the reasons usually when we're sick is that we like, Netta hates spicy food, she does. You're right. <laughs> uh, Netta, if you cook it really slow, I mean, I'm not forcing you or anything, but I'm telling you one time I cooked it so slow. I put it like on, like I have now, like on low or two or whatever. And I cooked it for like 35, maybe even 40 minutes. They were so mild. They were more mild than shishito peppers. They were like, I didn't even like it anymore. I was like, oh man, like I cooked out all of the kick. <laughs> um, so I prefer doing it for like 15 minutes. That's like my favorite. Um, and just like kind of when they look good, I think. Um, but higher flame in a shorter amount of time keeps them really spicy lower flame for a longer amount of time um chills them out basically um but and the hotter they are basically the more medicinal it's going to be but they're really good no matter what um so like i was saying what happens is we we hold all of that phlegm we have all that phlegm if we're not feeling amazing in our cavities in our face um, and then when we eat really spicy stuff, it drains it. And so while that might be kind of nasty, it's also really awesome because we're getting all that like toxins and bacteria or whatever it is out, sorry, my phone keeps giving me updates, um, out of our system. So, and the truth is also spicy food can, can boost your metabolism. So if you're a person that kind of feels cold often anyways, and you're like, feel like just kind of feel a little sluggish, um, cause you know, spicy food like gives you like a kick and a pep, right? You're like, Ooh, like. And it's also really useful, you know, a lot of times I find that when people are trying to reduce like the amount of like sugar they have in their diet, they're just like, oh, but like I don't want food to taste bland. So I can tell you, I cook with barely any sweetener, if, if any, and my food is really good. <laughs> As you guys know, if you've ever made anything that I've posted in here. Um, and so you just use a lot of flavor from other places. So like savory flavors or spicy flavors or tangy flavors, whatever. And so... I love this dish and I love this kind of food in, in general because it gives us that kind of more well-rounded flavor. Like this is a really cool flavor. I hope you guys make it. Um, I like posted about it and I posted the recipe that you can get sent to you. <laughs> like, I don't know, it was like two and a half weeks ago when I told you like my kids got sick and then I lost my voice. If you can hear, I'm still a little bit froggy. Ah, uh, see. Um, but okay, let's check it now. Let's see it again. Let's see how they're doing. Okay. It's not so hot anymore, so I, I don't, I'm okay lifting it. Um, okay, I'm just going to leave it in a little longer, just again, so it gets a little more mild. Um, but they're looking good. See, you can see the cut opening in there now. That's a really important part. If you leave that part out, and also I don't recommend using your fingers like I am. Don't be an idiot. Um, <laughs> I mean, the truth is it's fine. If you're doing it on a low flame, like I have it right now on such a low flame. Sorry, you can see like the nasty oil spitting on my stove. But it won't spit on your stove if you keep it nice and low like that. Um, you see like it's starting to kind of like wrinkle a little bit. I like that. Okay, so now let's finish our onions. And so now I'm just going to put a little bit of pepper on top. And if you're like, why am I adding pepper to everything that's spicy? It's a good question. But um, honestly, it just gives it another depth of flavor. It's like, it's not that it really makes it spicier. It's just like black pepper has its own flavor. And then now I'm salting. See, that's my uh, pink Himalayan salt. Um, honestly, look, it's not super finely ground, but I can't bring myself to get a different kind because I get it at Costco. I get this huge one. You guys want to see? I get this like, oh, where is it? Oh, I think I repacked. Let's see. Oh, God, it's somewhere hidden. Anyways, it's a huge, <laughs> it's a huge, huge thing that I get for like $7 or something. And if I would get the other brand, it's not as good of a deal. And like... I don't know. I hate like being wasteful. Like I hate wasting time and I hate wait, whatever. Maybe sometimes, but I honestly, I've had to learn to like, let it go a little bit. Cause sometimes I find that like I waste time when I'm trying not to waste time and it'd be faster if I would just like, let it go anyways. Okay. So there's my onions and you know what? I'm just going to call it a day now and say that these are done because I want you guys to see the whole process. So I'm turning off the fire. 
These are probably going to be super spicy. If you guys, you guys know Kayla that's in this group? Okay, she's coming over for dinner tonight, and I'll serve. Oh, these will be like the fancy thing. I just, look, I see that little part at the bottom. I wanted to cook a little more. These are going to be super spicy because I only cooked them for like 10 minutes, maybe even less, but that's okay. They're going to be super delicious. Super delicious and super spicy. Okay, there's my red one. Again, I don't know if the red one, so I'm just taking out. I don't know if the red one is like technically a jalapeno or not, <laughs> but um, I just, you know, the contrast is so nice. Let me squish this one over. And then, now this is a super important part. Don't forget this part. See all that oil in the pan? It tastes amazing and it's super healthy. It's a really good quality olive oil that is now infused of jalapeno juice. And so I'm pouring it on top and, um, and, uh, and I'm just going to leave it there now and let everything just kind of sit. So this is really good warm and really good cold. And um, just kind of really good all the time. It's really good as like a side dish. I serve it a lot like on Shabbat, like on the table with everything else. Um, and oh my gosh, guys, I can put you on camera with me. Facebook just told me. Anyone want to come on and say hi? <laughs> well, I'll tell you. Oh, I'm so glad I thought of that. Um, that really excited. I'm really excited that, um, those of you who've been in the group a while know that I really often, in addition to teaching these awesome little free things for you guys, I also will teach it looks really delicious. It is really delicious. Should I show you again? Woohoo! Okay. I'll take a pretty picture and post it again in a minute. <laughs> um, I'm really excited because I just, uh, you know, in the past, I've taught a lot of um, different classes for you guys. Like, you know, I taught a class like all about um, all about sweeteners, and I did like the skinny on fats, explaining everything what's going on with fats, good fats, bad fats, sweeteners like good, bad, which ones, how much, all that jazz. So um, I started now. I'm doing like a different format now. So instead of doing like these like random one-offs, um, I'm doing a program called Super Simple Nutrition Ninjas, <laughs> which is a lot like this group, but like on crack. <laughs> So, like organic, of course, organic crack, um, which I wonder if that is really a thing. But anyways, um, it's not really pertinent to me regardless. Um, but so in that group, I teach like full meals and and um, and different classes. So this week we're doing this coming week on Wednesday, I'm teaching the deal with dairy because a lot people have asked me so much about like what's up with dairy. I sometimes feel like I, I get sick from it, but like everyone loves it and I thought I need it for calcium and like does it have to be organic and what does grass fed mean? Um, and I don't like it, what should I eat any instead for my calcium, blah, blah, blah. So um, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. My husband always makes fun of me and says that I say blah, blah, blah too much. Like I don't know what the, what the appropriate quota is of blah, 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 but I guess I passed it in his uh, estimation. But um, I would love to have you guys in there. It's a really, really cool program. Um, and um, yeah, so if you're interested, let me know. And I will post this recipe in a minute. And it's just really exciting. Okay, guys. Also, okay, so I'll tell you one more thing about the group. So the group is every week I teach, just like in here I teach every week. So in that group I teach every week, but like hardcore, <laughs> right? So next week we're doing the deal with dairy, which is going to be like a full hour class explaining like everything about dairy that you need to know um, to not make yourself crazy and just be healthy in an easy way and not be overwhelmed. Then we're doing um, a live, cult live demonstration. I'm going to teach you guys how to make um, sauerkraut like raw organic sauerkraut that's really rich in probiotics and amazing for digestion and boost your immune system and boost your metabolism and like all these amazing things and you can buy it but it's super expensive and annoying to buy and you can make it really really easily so I'm teaching that the week after that I'm doing like an hour of like Q&A session of people coming in with like whatever their personal real questions are so right so like if you have anything that like is a real thing you could type it or if you want I can add you to the screen with me and you can actually just talk to me and tell me like what you're going what's going on what's going on with you and I'm happy to answer you and tell you everything that I can in that moment um and then the week after that I'm doing this really amazing crock pot meal plus I kind of pop in 
very frequently and just say like, oh, this is what I made for dinner. This is the salad that I just made. Here's the recipe. So it's a really, really cool um, program. Right now, early bird entrance is $47 a month for all of those things. And each of those things normally would be like when I would sell them as like one off classes, they were usually like about $47 each. So this way is like a way better deal for you guys. And also less annoying for me, which you know, I'm a big fan of <laughs> making things less annoying um, because it's a membership. So once you're in, you're in, you can always cancel at any time. But what I found is that a lot of people that are like into the classes are kind of like, they usually wind up doing more than one. They like the idea, they like learning more. Um, so if that's you, I would love, love, love to have you. You have till the seventh to get in with the early bird price. Um, then we're gonna go up to 67. Um, and yeah, so, I hope that sounds really exciting to you because it's really exciting to me. Um, and um, I'll show, show you a picture of the peppers one more. There we go. I have the lighting. Not amazing right here. What can I say? My husband's a filmmaker, but I'm not. I'm clearly not. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I'm just going to basically leave it like that and let it like sit for the next couple hours and it's going to be just really amazing. See there? These, um like all the flavors meld together even more. So that's really exciting. <laughs> um, anyways, if you guys have any questions, let me know. I love you all. Mwah.